I'm Terry Brunk from Markley Motors up in Fort Collins, Colorado. Well, as everybody knows, our business has been a little tough in the last few years. We've survived an awful lot. And one of the biggest opportunities I feel in a dealership is in the fixed operation. The grosses are more, the percentages are higher, and your return is a lot higher. However, the industry's been tough. A lot of maintenance has been taken away from us and a lot of labor times. And it's just a difficult time to build labor hours in your shop. We were looking for just something a little bit different. We believe in selling something that's of value to the customer. And that's important to us. It's not just so we can get the labor hours. It's important to us that there's a value to the customer. So when, when Mr. Kellner came to me and said, you know, boss, I got an idea. Trevin's been talking about this quick check machine. He keeps calling me, he keeps calling me and wants to talk about it. And he could see the value of what was going on, so we just started looking into it. Well, when, uh, when this whole process started, Trevin uh, came into my office probably eight, nine months ago and uh, wanted to show me a new product that I thought would be uh, good for our dealership and our, for our department and uh, lo and behold once he showed me the uh, uh, video, short video of this uh, new equipment, I was blown away. I mean I said that is, that is what we need. That is the uh, state of the art stuff that uh, will help take us to the next level and um, he got my interest level way up there and um, the rest is, I guess, history. We got the, li the list of references and we started calling. Uh, what was interesting when I went to make the phone calls up to uh, the Canadian dealers, all of them endorsed it. But one st story stuck in my mind was a gentleman that said, sir, I'm going to tell you the only way I believe so much in this piece of equipment, the only way it's ever going out of here is with my dead body duct tape to it. He said, that's the only way it's leaving. It changed his business. And that's exactly what we found. When we decided, we made the decision, we were gonna spend $200,000 in to really change our business. Because again, we were all about trying to find some additional hours in our shop and try to get some of those hours back that's been, that has just left our business. Um, so Mick Kellner, John Eisenhower, and myself made the decision, we're gonna buy the equipment, and it's, what are we gonna do with it? Because the decision then was made. So we decided how much and where it was gonna go, and then the process. How are we gonna do this, and how is it gonna be successful? And fortunately, our environment is, we make sure that everybody's involved, and we get people that can see the value in it, and eventually we got the advisors, we got the tax involved, and we decided how it was going to be checked in our dealership. I think the, the obstacles involved, I mean, just like anything else, you got to have buy-in by everybody. And um, uh, our advisors, I've got a lot of trained advisors that have been doing this for a long time. And as far as understanding the full part of what an alignment actually does for your vehicle and customer. Uh, they didn't really have enough experience or enough knowledge about that to really sell the alignments that we needed. One of the things that we really enjoy here at our dealership is that everything we do is done with a team process. We look for ways that we can implement things and if we're going to do it to get everybody involved and how can it be sustainable. I hate the one month wonders. I'm not into where we bring something in, it's great for a month, and then it just falls apart. How can we sustain? And we looked at how the cars would be checked through the service drive, and it really created a, a, some huge obstacles for us. So, and how did we get everybody involved in it as well as far as the technicians checking them? Because they're the ones that's gonna make it happen. They are the ones that's gonna get the advisor selling the work. And so, we decided, and um, after much conversation, that they were going to be checked in the shop. And that process just turned it on. From that moment when we got it in the technician's hands and they saw that the machine was believable, that the machine, the quick check, was the same as the alignment equipment, then all of a sudden it just, the light came on. And our business 
just went crazy. So we put two quick checks in our express department and that way we have six guys that can check them all day long. Very sustainable, it's a way that we can do that and we put a, a good incentive for the, for the express technicians to check it. The mainline technicians, we bought them a brand new piece of equipment, a brand new quick check, and a way for them to pull the car right in there and check them anytime they do any service on a car. And it just took off. It took an average flagging technician up to the area that we wanted them to be. It got more involvement from the, all the rest of the technicians. And pretty soon, as we all know, as soon as those technicians see a better mousetrap, they're going to jump all over it. And um, the, you could just see the lights come on with them. As soon as we got the quick check in there and got it, and it was validated that it was, it was good, because we've all gone through the gimmicks. And this, we identified, was no gimmick. It just was a tool that absolutely changed our shop. We were all sitting in the introduction meeting, and we were all talking about the different benefits of, of the quick check. And Trevin just made the perfect point. In our business, most of the time we are reactive. This customer has a problem with a turn signal, we fix their light. Somebody has a problem with the noise, we fix the noise. Somebody, cars pulled left, we fix the pull. But we were always reactive. We were never proactive. And this equipment is like our express service, it's proactive. It is a way to identify that there's something down the road going to happen and that has, our customers have found that that's really a benefit to them. Quite honestly, we were the perfect candidate for this equipment. There was never a doubt in my mind with the service that we, provide, we get from Hunter, we were going to buy Hunter. My goal in this was to get us to double our business. We had done, as an average, 81 alignments a month which was less than average. Industry average says that we should be doing about 7% of our customer pay repair orders. Well, we were at 3%. I blamed it a lot on equipment, I blamed it a lot, but it really wasn't a center we focused on. And quite honestly, we were naive. We didn't know. We had some people jump on board very early, and it was wonderful. But we had such a volume of work that now hit our shop. It couldn't be just the ones or twos or the threes that, that got involved. Now I needed more involved. So it was a great lesson in, okay, we brought the, the, the equipment in. We brought the training in. We thought we were all ready. However, we were just beginning. And it really became evident. What was really exciting was the level of commitment we had for training. It, it was incredible to watch some of the young people that really didn't understand alignment. I, it was amazing to me that we had people that worked in our environment that really didn't understand everything, that, that all the different components and all the things that went with it. So to watch their personal growth and then all of a sudden watch them get excited. And then it developed a whole different problem for us. We started blowing away pay plans. Our pay plans were based on this level of business. Now all of a sudden we've added 300 hours into our shop that we never had before. I thought going into this that we might sell 200 alignments and I would have been a happy camper. I penciled it out and with the dealership made money, the technicians had better equipment, everybody would be happy and I would have been, I actually my goal was let's just get us over 200, I'd be happy. Well, you can imagine my amazement when we went from 81 to 380 in our first month. Out to shoot, 381 alignments just turned our place on. You could just see people smile. You could just see them get engaged in it. Um, and again, I don't like to be a one month wonder. So we turned it over and next month we broke 300 again. We're approaching the 400 mark. And I really believe our goal is, is, for, is 400 alignments. We now do 10% of our customer pay repair orders have an alignment on it, whereas before it was 3%. It really caused me to have a real serious conversation with the owner of our business. Since we've implemented this, the Hunter Quick Check, think about the, the results of what's happened is we've had two of the best months in the history of our dealership. 
now all of a sudden pay plans now have changed. Bottom line has changed. Gross profit has changed. Now all of a sudden you've got other things to think about and it, it causes us to have a philosophy uh, conversation with the dealer. The nice thing is we were able to, to, because we bought the best equipment and we bought the best racks, we were able to change our labor times. And because there's a true value in the new equipment that we had, we were able to actually raise our, our rate after doing a market survey. So this magic formula of you raise, we raise the amount we were able to charge because I really felt it was a better value. And we lowered the text time because we were able to provide them much, much more business than they did in before, but they could do them so much faster. And quite honestly, it has been a huge winner for us. We've changed our effective rate dramatically and been able to raise our gross profit rate as well. So it's made a huge impact on our dealership financially and the morale as well. We've got several people very, very excited. It was interesting our first day of business because you could see the excitement, you could see the anticipation, you could see some of the guys from Missouri that we were going to have to show them. It wasn't going to, it wasn't going to be easy in some cases, in some cases it was really, really easy. And when you leave after a day of work like that, where you've just worked all day, you put your new process in, you've changed some things, and I was walking out the door, and I think the video will show it the best. But you had, I asked one of our alignment technicians, so Tucker, do you like your new equipment? And he goes, let me show you. And he did what's now become very famous in Northern Colorado, the alignment dance. And when you have a technician dancing out after a long exhausting day, have him dancing outside of his work area, you know life is damn good. You just went, we went home with the biggest smiles on our face, laughing. And that was after making that kind of investment, that kind of decision, and watching the, the reaction of our technician was just incredible. The first thing I would do is open my eyes to it because I credit our service manager, Mick Kellner, with that. He opened my eyes to it. Once I got my eyes opened up to 80% of the customers that come in here, their alignment's out and I'm not telling them, I'm not doing anything about it. I'm just letting them come in, feel their tires, maybe I'll rotate the tires, but their alignments are legitimately out of alignment and I'm letting them leave, then I'm really not providing the level of service that I really feel. And that dawned on me, I mean, it, I mean, we did it, we did it for years, but it was something that awakened me and said, now wait a minute, I, it's my job to service our customers and, and give them the information that they deserve. Well, I wasn't giving it to them. We're all doing multi-point inspections. We're all doing that. This is just another element. It's a little more drastic and a little more expensive for us to do than the battery inspection. We all check batteries, or we should be checking batteries, but it's just another inspection. It's another way to better service the customer's car and they deserve it. Now, the rewards is that all of a sudden you're gonna change your business. You're gonna get some of those hours back that the industry has taken away from us. And it will change the way that, that your, your technicians feel and it'll be, you're doing the service to the customers.